Hey, Brian Miller here, and I got a quick comparison video for you today. So this company, Dictapro, recently sent me their new X200 uh, portable digital voice recorder. And I get a lot of companies that send me or that want to send me a lot of stuff. I say no to almost every single request to send me something for a review on my channel. And the reason I say no to almost all of them is because most of it is garbage, it's crap, I learned that early on, and it's not worth my time, it's not worth wasting your time. But this intrigued me. And the reason this intrigued me is because it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a digital portable voice recorder. It is absolutely insanely tiny. But I couldn't figure out who it was for. I mean, don't you own a voice recorder? Don't you have a smartphone? I have a smartphone, you have a smartphone. We all own a voice recorder now. So I wasn't really sure who this was actually marketed for, targeted for, like, like who would be the op, who, who would want to spend a little bit of extra cash, it's not much, it's like 40 bucks, spend some extra cash to add something to their pocket that they already have in their pocket. It just felt redundant, so I was curious what about this thing makes it worth paying extra for and carrying around another device, small and light though it is. So I already did a full in-depth review on my uh, main channel, my other channel. You can find that link right here or in the description down below. Uh, the company Dictapro, they wanted the review on my main channel because that's where at the time of this recording most of my subscribers are. But having said that, I wanted to do a quick comparison today between the X200 and two other options for voice recording today. One option being your phone, and the other being a portable audio recorder like the Tascam dr 5 Those of you who've been following my work for a while know that this is one of my favorite devices on planet Earth. I love this thing. The test is incredibly simple. I'm going to turn on and hit record on all three devices at uh, the same time. I'm gonna set them all on the table in front of me about, um, I don't know, eight inches in front of my face. And here is the test. Right now I'm recording with all three devices. At the moment, you are hearing the Samsung Note 8. This is what my Note 8 with the native voice recorder sounds like if it's sitting about eight inches in front of me and, you know, six to eight inches below me on a hard top table. I'm actually using a, uh, a nightstand right now that I grabbed uh, because typically I do these reviews using a, a plush soft, uh, soft surface to set things down on so that I don't uh, have any extra noise coming into the microphones while I'm doing a video. But that is not the typical surface you would be sitting something down on like this. So this is what the Note 8 sounds like while it's sitting on a hard surface. And right now you're listening to the Dictapro X200. This is what that sounds like sitting on the table in front of me at exactly the same place as the Samsung Note 8. This right here is the sound quality of the Dictapro X200. And finally, this is the sound quality of the Tascam dr 5 portable audio recorder. Uh, you've probably heard this before because I've done a million tests and demonstrations of this particular device. It's fantastic. The audio quality is excellent. I have no doubt that this sounds good, even though I can't actually hear it right now. And now I will give you the exact same sentence with each device three times in a row. And now I will give you the exact same sentence with each device three times in a row. And now I will give you the exact same sentence with each device three times in a row. And for the final test, I'm going to hold all three of these right in front of me as if I were using it like a doctor would or if you were just holding it up to your mouth to record. This is what it sounds like when I'm using the Note 8. This is what it sounds like when I'm using the X200. And this is what it sounds like when I'm using the Tascam dr 5 So there you have it, the audio quality of three different options for voice recorder. As far as I'm concerned, the voice recorder built into my smartphone is absolutely fantastic. There is no reason I wouldn't use that for making voice memos, uh, for recording like you know, lectures if you're a student or meetings if you're a professional, which is what the X200 is supposedly designed for. It's supposed to be great for far away crystal clear recordings, but in my experience so far demonstrating and uh, and playing around with it it's not crystal clear it's 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 relatively poor audio quality and i'm recording with a wave file so like it, it should be pretty decent especially cuz it was optimized for for exactly this but it doesn't seem to be and of course the Tascam dr 5 is just exceptional the audio quality coming out of that thing is just truly magnificent and 
for only 70 bucks or 80 bucks, whatever you can get the Tascam for these days, um, that DR05 is gonna serve you in a million different ways from voiceover and narration to plugging in external mics to sync up with video and post or doing podcasting or doing voice memos like this. I mean, they, really, you can't go wrong with the DR05. I, I, if I was going to add something to my bag or my pocket, even though this thing is tiny and small and portable, I would go for the DR05 every time if I was going to add something. But there's really no good reason to add something just for voice recordings. Your phone will do that absolutely fine. In fact, depending on your phone, it might do it exceptionally well. So there you go, three different options from free to $40 to 70 or 80 bucks for doing voice recordings, voice memos, capturing lectures or meetings, whatever. Hope this was helpful. If it was, please do subscribe to the channel, ding that notification bell. This is a new channel you may think you're already subscribed to because you see my face, but this is a new channel called Audio for Content Creators, which is dedicated exclusively to audio tutorials and gear reviews, just like this one. So my name is Brian Miller. Thanks so much for watching and coming on this journey to sound better and level up. We'll see you next time. If your audio is garbled or distorted, if it's echoey or far away, people are just gonna turn that off and move to the next thing. Welcome to Audio 101 for Content Creators. Where you're gonna spend four hours, not four years, and a hundred bucks, not a hundred grand, to learn the basics of audio.